Hey, what up YouTube? Hi, it's your boy, the Big D TV. And about a year ago, I made a video how to get emulators and all this stuff for Chromebooks. But apparently, it's changed since then. Plus, that video wasn't that informational. And I don't think I made the best video that day. And I feel like I could make a better video now. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this, especially now that all my friends have Chromebooks. They can all watch this video and learn how to get Game Boy games on their Chromebook. So the first thing you're going to want to do is... To just go to Google and Google search Google Chrome Store. So everything that you guys need will be in the description down below. I'll give you guys all the exact links. But if not, you guys can just follow me. Once you're at the Chrome Store, look up GBA Emulator. I may have misspelled it right there. Uh, the first one is the one that you want. It is the VBA M made by nick 3 dos so you're gonna wanna hit add to chrome it's gonna say this hit add it's gonna pop up right here it's gonna download and that's it that's all you guys need for the emulator next we're gonna need to go to a website I don't know the exact name I think it's called dope rom but to get there just look up top 100 best GBA ROMs click the first one it is dope ROMs by the way ad block you probably want that on right now so that you don't get some weird ads and I'm gonna get a game that I want it's called crash bandicoot so crash bandicoot and the huge adventure that's what I want so I'm gonna want to click on that uh, download ROM hit download and I'm gonna have the file in a matter of seconds so now next I'm gonna open it sorry I had to look at my screen my other screen so we're going to bring that up. Next, we need to open up a new window. So I have everything ready. But first, let me show you the emulator. GBA emulator. Let's bring that right here on our on our bar. Click on it. And it opened up in my other window. So let me bring that over here. Okay, so I've got this game already. You guys didn't have to get this game. You guys could get any of those games that I just showed you. Let me see. From Dope Roms. Uh, what other games do they have? They have lots of Pokemon games. So, like, you can get all these Pokemon games. All of them should work. I tested out lots of them. I actually already have a folder full of games right here. Uh, games. All these games I got from Dope Roms because I wanted to double check. So, all these games that you see here should work from them. Um, some of them may not work, but the majority of the games do work. So, next, let me show you something that wouldn't work. So, let's go to Crash Bandicoot. We're going to want to look inside the zip file, and the zip file doesn't work. And the reason why is because you actually have to extract it and change the name. So go to Crash Bandicoot on one of these. That's why you had to open up to drag and drop that. Then you want to click this arrow right here so that this thing isn't in the way because it bothers me. And delete this because you don't need the zip file anymore. And now we're right here. And even this still will not work because there's spaces and all this other stuff. So if you hit Control O. Go to games, Crash Bandicoot, it still doesn't work. So what you need to do is right click it, hit rename, and you just want to get rid of all the spaces and numbers, I think. So let's get rid of all these spaces. You can keep the hyphen, as you guys can tell from my other games, but the rest, get rid of it. And obviously you want to keep the GBA, otherwise it won't work. So let's... Close this, minimize this, boom, and let's test this out. But first, let me show you. These are all the controls, you guys. The button on the Game Boy is right here on the left-hand side, and the button that you actually have to hit on the Chromebook is right here. So if you guys wanted to hit A, -A in the Game Boy emulator, then you need to click Z and so on. These are important in order to save your game because sometimes the saving like thing doesn't work inside the... Um, ROM itself you need to hold search shift and then an arrow key and I think 9 doesn't work it works up until 8 but those games are only affected on the game so if you like save state 1 on Pokemon and then you save state 1 on Crash Bandicoot the Crash Bandicoot does not get rid of the Pokemon because it's like remembered on the Crash Bandicoot game only sorry if that's confusing but you guys will see what I mean um, also like Shift is to move forward in time. So let's do this. I'm probably actually going to have to blur this out so I don't get like copywritten strike, copyright strike. 
So let's click that. Boom. You guys can see that the game is actually working. For some reason, my TV's on. Let me turn that off. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, the game actually works. Sorry, I didn't have to cut it because it didn't work. It's because my TV was actually on and it was playing the music and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So I had to mute it. You guys probably can't see the mute. Yeah, you guys can. But see, if I hit space, then everything goes by quick because this is the actual speed. So, yeah, and as I said, uh, search shift I, you guys see right in the corner, it says wrote state one. So now if I hit search I, then it goes right back there. See, boom, boom, like all this stuff. So let me show you guys how useful this would be. Okay, so we're actually playing right now the game, and you guys can see it works. Full screen does not work on this. It gets all, like, messy. Let me show you how saving state works. So I'm going to hit uh, search shift one. I'm gonna save this state right here. If I die and I don't wanna lose my life, I hit search one and I'm right back here. And let's say I didn't like that, so I go back here and that's how saving the states work. I think uh, shift, shift search nine, it says last save undone, so don't use nine, just use one until eight, but that's more, that should be more than enough. I only use two, one is so that like I already have it saved and then my eight is a backup in case I accidentally write over so you guys should all do that but that's it you guys I don't want to show any more as I said for copyright reasons so that's how to get a Game Boy emulator onto your Chromebook I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys have learned something if you guys have any questions at all ask me in the description down below I hope to answer all of them but yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys all later. It's been your boy, The Big D TV, aka David. I'll see you guys all next time. Watch your guys' ears and bye!